here YouTube. I'm back again for another gameplay video. And today I'm very excited to be playing Don't Let It Die, a co-op survival strategy game from Funk Board Games. This is for one to four players ages 12 plus, take about 45 to 90 minutes to play. And today it's going to be a solo adventure, just you, me, and a cup of tea. And we're going to be trying to keep this fire going for 14 days. So set you up with the theme of the game. We are Neanderthals. We're really stupid. I got Mabe, Terra, Zebo, and River. And all of a sudden, poof, lightning crashes and this magical fire appears. We think it's amazing. Luckily, we figure out that we need to put some wood on it. But what we have to do in this game is we have to understand and learn about fire by rolling this fire die and hopefully getting fire symbols, which will be tokens. We'll use those tokens to learn more things we can do, like cooking and crafting. And hopefully we can understand all the mysteries of the fire before 14 days or before we die or before the fire goes out. It's one of those type games where there's only one way to win, but numerous ways to lose. Now, I do want to say we were playing the easy difficulty, but it does go easy, normal, normal, plus, and then hard. And then in the back of the rule booklet, there's even a whole bunch of other different challenges you can take. There's nine of them. So lots of variability already. And I do want to mention I'm not using the included expansion. I don't know if it's going to be included with whatever version you get. This is the uh, Daylight Mini Expansion Rules, which includes a new character, fish, and then new day events. So pretty cool there. We're just going to be playing the base game, but let's get into it. So the first thing you'll notice is I am going to be playing as four different characters. That's because in this game, you do have to, uh, it's 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 made to play four. And I do appreciate that they just came out and said that, because there's some games, uh, I'm looking at you, Pandemic, that, especially Pandemic Legacy, where it, it's best at a certain player count. This one was like, it's four, you need to play as four. So I got this all set up. I randomly picked out four different characters, and there's a whole bunch of extra characters that I didn't utilize. So a whole lots of characters here. We'll go over all the different characters, asymmetrical special abilities, their weaknesses, their strengths that they have. But let's just get it rolling and you'll quickly see how the game works. So there's three phases. The morning phase, which you can think of as more like a cleanup phase. The day phase, which is what we're going to start right now. And then the night phase, which we'll get into when we get into it. So the first thing that we need to do is figure out who the first start player is, which is Mabe right here. And we'll go over Mabe's special abilities and then I'll take his turn. So if Mabe falls below three health, so he's at five right now, and you notice that there's a white token and a red token, this is just to symbol your max. So I can never have more than five max, and this is to symbolize how much I actually have. Uh, if it ever falls below three HP, roll the fire die, which is this really nice wooden die right here. Good on you, Game Crafter. A blank means that he gains two stamina. Otherwise, take one FKP. And FKP are one of these fire, uh, like us staring at the fire and learning its secrets and burning ourselves. We're going to be able to spend these to level ourselves up on this tree, but I'm getting ahead of myself right now. Uh, and take one FKP once per day phase. So if he once his health gets low, that's what we can do. His other thing, if you have at least one resource, spend three stamina to copy it and take another of the chosen resource type. There's a whole bunch of resources in here you can utilize. And he cannot perform the investigate fire action, which is a very important action, which we'll get into in a second. So those are his special abilities. He starts with five health, five stamina. So now we'll talk about the special abilities. And once we talk about the special ability, or the, uh, excuse me, the special actions you can take, once we talk about these, we'll never really need to talk about them again. So there are free actions, and you can do a free action even when it's not your turn. These actions can be used at any time time during the day phase uh, and that is to eat food and you can turn three berries or two meat into one health or and this is really kind of cool they're double-sided you can have two cooked berries and one cooked meat and that will give you two hp uh, the other free action you can do is you can add wood to the fire so because we are going to need to keep the fire going or you can spend your FKP up here, and I'll explain how this works when we get to it. The one cost stamina actions are just going to be cook food and trade with neighboring tribes. Uh, so the cook food one we'll get into when we get up here to cook the food, but it's pretty self-explanatory. It's going to cost one stamina. And then trade with neighboring tribe, if you're familiar with like Catan, is where you're just able to trade three for one. So three of any one resource, and you're going to be able to gain one of other resource that you need. Now, now we're going to get to the big dogs, the two stamina and the three stamina ones. So first you can do the two stamina to draw one card from either of the below decks, which is the Forage or the Gather. So these two right here. And i got to say, look at this cool artwork. I really wish this wasn't on the black, the back of a player aid card because this is really nice. And I was hoping it was going to be like intermixed with the game somehow. Not so much. Uh, but yes, so you draw one of those and these are going to give you various different things. And we'll get into those. Those will be a surprise as we go. Because I don't even know what all, all of them. I just 
mixed them up, shuffled them, or sorted them and shuffled them. So next we have the three stamina ones, which are going to be investigate fire. And this is you pretty much just tinkering with the fire. You roll the fire dice and you're either going to get zero, one, two, or three fire FKPs, which once again, you can spend over here. Uh, you can craft an item, and the crafting item system is really kind of interesting because when we first start the game, we will only be able to craft a crummy club. But as we learn more about fire, so that was what we could do before. It's pretty much just like whittling down a stick. But as we learn about fire, we'll be able to start doing some other fancy things in here. And uh, once we learn more of, about fire, it's pretty much a tiered crafting system. So we start on level zero, then we can get to level one, level two, level three, and up to level three, you can even start building some buildings, which will give you some spectacular special effects, the rules say, but you can only have one building in play in the entire game. All right, so craft items. Uh, then we have harvest, and this one, uh, harvest and hunt. So harvesting requires a tool, because obviously you're, you're pulling things out of the ground, uh, and you're going to get good stuff from it. And hunting requires any item weapon. So in order to hunt, you have to have a weapon, which kind of makes sense. So we'll start with Mabe here. I don't think any of his special abilities are going to take effect right now. So the first thing that I would like to do is... Oh, he cannot roll the fire dice. We will... Um, We'll go foraging. Yeah, let's go foraging. So we're going to go foraging one time, and we draw the top card of the deck, because draw one card from either of the two decks. And I have gotten myself, oh my gosh, <laughs> I've gotten this. I've gotten myself two fiber. Very nice. All right. Now, the resources in this game just go straight to the middle. Uh, these are shared resources. Everybody gets these resources, and then this forage just goes up right there. Uh, what else do I want to do? I could craft an item, but I don't have a wood. Um, so I could gather. Yeah, gathering, because I want wood. So yeah, let's go ahead and gather, which is once again going to cost me two actions. So I probably should be keeping track of that. So it gets me three. Now I'm down to one, and I have gathered. Ooh, it's a boar. That's bad. This is a danger card. So if I had a weapon, I could fight it. However, I do not, which means... I believe I am going to take two damage, but I do want to double check that. I'm pretty sure I will just take two damage, and the rules seem to be pretty well laid out, even though the text is a little bit stinking small, which I'm not the biggest fan of. So yes, if you have no weapon or you have a weapon, but its damage is less than the danger cards, you lose health equivalent to the card's damage. So, oh, he speared me. That hurts, but that does raise an interesting scenario because I still have one uh, one stamina left, and if Mave falls below three HP, falls below. Okay, so it has to be two or one. Good to know. All right, so cannot use that special ability. I do still have one stamina left, but it's not really going to help me at all because I can't eat food. You can't eat fiber, unfortunately. I was hoping to get some berries, so I'm pretty sure Mave is done for the day. Unless, of course, someone gets food, because you can eat during the day phase. So if Terra picks some food, then maybe you can come eat that food. Now, Terra is going to gain two stamina when gaining HP from eating berries once per day. Awesome. Take one berry when drawing a forage card, so she's a great forager, and spend two stamina to heal any character for one HP. Hmm. Very, very nice. She starts with six health. I like Terra. So the first thing I would like to do is definitely forage. So we're going to take the two right here and we're going to forage hopefully get ourselves some berries bada bing we got ourselves one berry but we cannot eat just one berry because uh let's see you have to have three berries to get yourself one food because berries are not very filling berries are just not very filling so she's should she stay out there and do it oh take one berry when drawing a forage card oh that's spectacular oh my gosh so she's a really good at hunting for berries yeah let's do it again go forage go forage one fiber Stay. All right. So fiber, I don't think we, I bet fiber is something we have to use over here. So she still has one stamina left. Take one berry when drawing a forage card. Oh, so she should have caught another one. Oh my gosh, she is awesome. I'm a big fan of her. <clears throat> mm, spend two stamina. Nope, can't do that. Can't do that. Have one stamina. She does not want to eat, so her turn is now over. And now we go over here to Zebo. Zebo cannot equip any items. <laughs> that that sticks. But let's. I bet his special abilities are really good. Zebo heals one HP every time he draws a berry card. Very nice. And spend three stamina after drawing a resource card to take double the listed amount. 
Okay, he's got six stamina. You know what we have not done yet? I think we should be investigating the fire more. So we're just going to investigate this fire, because that's the whole point of the game. Zebo investigates. He's not very good at investigating right now. So he's going to get us one little flame, and he will investigate the fire again, because that will just tap him completely out. He got nothing. I hate you, Zebo. You, 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 you stink. All right, but now we go to River. So River can only eat berries, picky eater. It's on you. Blame it on your parents, River. When River draws a nothing card, take two fire knowledge points. So that's pretty good. She gets bored. Uh, doesn't learn anything, but she goes back and looks at the fire. And River has a free investigate fire action once per day. Well, let's just use that right now. But she only has four stamina. Three fire! Bada boom! That is big because now we can go over here to the fire knowledge tree. And, um, yeah, we can spend some of our fire knowledge. Now, the tree has a really interesting way of working. Actually, it kind of spends here. Spend FKP tokens on discoveries. Immediate unlock discoveries when you have enough tokens on one. Now, there is a prerequisite system. The gold arrows indicate prerequisites. Before placing FKP tokens on a discovery, you must first unlock all discoveries with a gold arrow pointing to it. So it's a kind of cool system. So I'm going to put these three right here, which means now everybody gains one max stamina which is great because oh so her her stamina is still at four but her max stamina goes up one because uh when you sleep everybody gains their stamina back which is awesome and now that also means that it has unlocked a path for me i can either place my fkp right here to keep working on more max stamina or i can work on the cooking i think we will go with the i kind of want to craft so i need to cook to craft so oh we can just hold on to it we actually can just hold on to it we don't have to spend that right now and i do want to mention that we're playing the easy difficulty there's another one right here which has even more stuff and yeah let's see does this one normal plus and then yeah look at that one look at that Brrr, going all around very cool that's on the hard difficulty oh probably need the easier one still all right so that that was a great start to the turn there river i like you i take it all back you're awesome even though you are a picky eater so she can only eat better when River draws a nothing card, take two FKP. So what do we want her doing? We really need some wood to put on the fire. So we're going to send her out gathering two stamina. And she has gotten a beast. Oh, so she loses one health. Ow. And because she does not have a weapon, if she would have had a club, she could have protected herself. So maybe we should get a club on her. Because I feel like she's going to be foraging a lot. And let's go. Gather again. This time, don't run anything. Oh, she got two rocks. That's what she came back with. Two rocks. I hurt myself, and I got two rocks. Uh, okay, but you know what? We'll need those rocks later. So, place those there. She has used all of her stamina. She could use a potential free action. Do I want anybody to use a free action? I don't. Now, the reason why I might want to consider eating right now is because when we get to the night phase, and I'm going to make sure we do the night phase absolutely right, so we'll go step by step down it, because I always like to do that when I do these videos, and I don't want to screw things up. Uh, you lose one health just from bug bites and bumps in the night and all sorts of things like that. But we are done with our day phase. Every single person has gotten their turn, so let's go to the night phase. After all players have completed their day phase, draw a night event card. Ooh, what could it be? After eating an unknown mushroom, guilty, today everyone feels lightheaded and can't focus. Skills that require stamina to activate cannot be used tomorrow. Skills that require stamina to activate. Okay, so these, these ones right here. So not that, okay. So let's see, do I have any? That, spend three stamina, spend two stamina. Okay, those ones that say spend X number of stamina. Okay, so we've drawn ourselves a night event card, which we'll be dealing with this day. After drawing, read and follow the instructions on the card. If a night card is drawn and does not apply to your group, discard and ignore the event. Then continue on to the morning phase. Okay, night phase. Super simple. <laughs> that much to screw up there. So then we go to the morning phase, which is awesome. It's included right here. Remove wood count from the fire pit. So we are going to remove one wood from the fire. It has burned. Increase the day count by one. Blow, because we, we are on a timer. If we ever get to 14, game over. We have to have the fire started. Or we have to have fire starting skills, I should say. Uh, each character takes one damage. As so my son would say, he plays a lot of Roblox. Oof, oof, oof. I don't know if it was two or one. Well, I think it's one. And oof. All right, everybody took a damage. Refresh up to your max stamina. So really glad 
that we rolled that three right there. Boom. And I hope there's a better way that they do this because this is this is a little bit finicky. I'm worried that if I bump something, it's just going to mess everything up. Trade items as desired because we could, uh, everybody is just allowed to trade everything all willy-nilly because, you know, this is a cooperative game. And then pass this to the left, which would actually be to the right in this particular instance because Terra is now the first player and that has been a whole round of it. Very simple. Let's move on to round number two. Terra, gain two stamina when gaining HP from eating berries once per day. We don't need health. Take one berry when drawing a forage card. That's what we're doing. But we actually need to gather. I, think, I feel like we need to put some more wood on the fire because as you can see, as the fire starts to burn, you ash from my fingers uh, from popping these out. So yeah, we're going to go ahead and gather. Plus, I want to start making some stuff. So she's going to gather. That costs two stamina. Ooh, she could gather three times. Saber tooth. Oh, his one life. Oh, I've been looking at these damage cards incorrectly. Did I? Let's see. One, one, two, two. Okay, no, I did it. I did it correctly. Everybody took the correct amount of damage. I did not realize that the life and the damage were two separate entities there. So either way, she's going to take two damage. Ow, ow. Okay, so eating is looking much more appealing right now. Uh, gain two stamina when e gaining two HP from eating berries once per day. But I have to eat all the berries, and he really needs the berries. But everybody else can forage first, right? She'll be fine. You know what? She's going to go ahead and gather. She's cool. That's risky. No, let's do it. She's fine. Gather it. Bam. Two wood. That's what I'm talking about. I knew she had it in her. I knew she was good at this. Bam. Gathered those two woods. She still draw one berry when drawing a forage card. Yeah, so let's go send her foraging too. Oh, it's a beast! Oh, that hurts. But she still gains her berry. Because on her running away from it, I guess she grabbed a berry on the way. So we got ourselves a berry card. Not the end of the world. Not looking good for Terra though. So let's move on to Zebo. Can he redeem himself in my eyes? He's at three health. Zebo heals one HP every time he draws a berry card. Okay, well, this just makes sense. Let's send Zebo out foraging first, then, right? Bam, get yourself a berry, Zebo. You got nothing. Zebo, I hate you so much. Why do you do this, Zebo, all the time? Every time guests come over, spend three stamina. Okay, you can't even use that because he, ate, he was eating mushrooms last night. He's completely incompetent today. <laughs> My gosh, I'm really painting a poor narrative here on Zebo. Zebo's about to redeem himself because he is going to craft. So let's make sure we do this crafting right. I think it's just crafting for free. I don't think it costs any actions at all. Gather, forage, hunt, harvest, eat food, add wood, trade, cook, craft item. No, that one costs three stamina. Good thing I checked. Zebo, should you spend your three stamina on this? Yes. Zebo needs a club. So we're going to spend a wood, spend the three stamina. Phew. And now he's got himself. He cannot equip any items. God, Zebo. Well, he's still going to make it. He still made a club, which I don't think we can equip until the beginning of the morning phase. Could be wrong about that. Either way, I would rather be safe than sorry. I'll take the penalty here. So we have ourselves a club. Zebo just forgot he wasn't allowed to use it or something. And Zebo should, he should, yeah, get, let's go forage again. Use the last energy, get the forage. He's got three berries. Zebo, you've redeemed yourself so much. You rock. One, two, three. Everybody's eating today because of Zebo. Thank you, Zebo. So he's got three, and he automatically heals one. That's a cool ability. That's really nice. So now we go over to River. River has a free investigate fire action once per day. Oh, every day. Three, River, you are out of your mind right now. All right, so we're going to give an MVP at the end of the game to one of these characters. I like to do that. I always do it in my brain. I don't know why I've never done it in a video. I'm going to give the MVP to one of them right now. River, early odds-on favorite with six fire tokens that are just ashing all over my finger. But hey, can't complain when the game crafter can do stuff like this. Look at that. That's amazing. But anywho, what do, can I spend these right now? And we could, we could cook. Are we cooking? Boom. River just unlocked. Oh, so flip this so it's unlocked. We just unlocked that. And I think we can just put one here now, now that we know it's unlocked. Oh, that's a clever little system there. Clever little system. I love double-sided tokens. All right. Anywho, what do we got? So she did that. Cooking is now unlocked, which means the cooking action is now available. That's going to cost you one stamina. Ooh, to cook food, you must unlock each. Spend one stamina, cooks one food token. Okay, so we need to... 
So yeah, we'll just start. So one, two, three, four. She's just gonna cook all day. Five, bada boom, five. Yeah, she'll just do nothing but cook. I'm cool with that. That was a great turn, River. Now we're on to Maeve, last turn here. So everybody is gonna take a damage. So the first thing is I do want Maeve to eat. He absolutely needs to eat. So we have two cooked berries, which means that is two HP. Nice clean system there. Do do do. Uh, yeah, he's hungry. You you a hungry boy? A hungry boy, Maeve? Oh, you good boy. I don't know why I'm talking to him like a dog. Cause he's an Andy after all. He's probably about at the intelligence level, you know, not of a dog, but you know. Not, not, you know, he is in a middle spot. That's be really interesting to me in the end, all. But anyway, if Maeve falls below 3 HP, roll the fire. Oh, oh, you know what? Reverse, reverse, before we he, he ate, he's going to do that. Roll the fire die. And otherwise, take one FKP. Yeah! So Maeve get, okay. So we reverse, reverse that, but hey, it's a cooperative game. You know you do it all the time in a co-op game. Do we want to put wood on the fire? No, we're good for wood on the fire right now. If you have at least one resource, spend three stamina to copy it and take another of the chosen type of resource. I don't think I want to do that right now. So let's get, oh, we, I kind of want him to investigate fire. Yeah, God dang it, baby, I hate you. You can't investigate fire. So he's gonna go harvesting. He doesn't have a tool. Maeve, you are fine. Go gather stuff. Go gather more things. Maeve, I really don't want you doing anything. I should have made you the cook. Should have let River do the important stuff. Well, hindsight 2020, let's go foraging. So we're probably just gonna go one, two, three times unless something crazy happens. So let's forage. Okay, that's a, that's a saber tooth tiger. Not exactly what you're looking for when you're looking for berries. So I take two damage. Ow, ow. <laughs> We'll go foraging one more time. And that's two berries. Awesome. So, bada boom, bada boom. Got to make sure those are face up. Ooh, okay. Make sure they're on the right side. Lots of resources. I feel like we're gathering tons of stuff, which is good, right? So, he's done two times now. He's got two more actions. So, let's send him to gather so I don't want to shuffle right now. And he gained a rock. The ever-popular rock. So... Gained a rock, he has spent all of his stamina, and now we go to the nighttime phase, which I don't think I need to hit the rules this time, because you literally only draw one card. And I wish there was some more uh, forage cards and gather cards. Am I shuffling them up together? Hopefully not. A little bit more variety, that would have been nice, but hey, whatevs. You're not going to, uh, realistically, you're not going to be finding too much. So I guess I can't complain about that, because what am I expecting them to come back with, like a, a big screen TV or something? Okay. Anywho, nighttime phase, let's go. Pew. A sudden cold wind sweeps into the valley, freezing everything it touches. Everyone takes one damage and starts the morning with minus two stamina. <gasps> oh no! Oh no! Everyone takes one damage <laughs> and starts with minus two stamina. So they will start with minus two stamina. Oh man. And everybody's going to be taking two damage because you always take a damage during the night anyway, which means we're going to have our first death. Looky there. We got to, I got to make sure that I do the death right. So maybe, maybe that's why I have all the resources because I should be using them. So he's, oh my good gravy. That is not looking good. So there's the night phase. We move on to the morning phase. Um, Terra is dead, which I do, if I recall correctly from the rules, you have to get three pieces of cooked meat to bring her back. When a character reaches zero HP, they are incapacitated and unplayable, can only be brought back if the rest of the group spends three cooked meat to feed them. Ugh. Incapacitated members retain all their items, but their unequipped items are distributed among the rest of the group. Once she gets revived, they start with 3 HP and return the meat to play during the next morning phase. During the next morning phase. Oh, speaking of morning phase, someone can get themselves a club, and we should probably give it to someone with a lot of health, which is, River, you are just my go-to gal, but you only have five actions. Mm, I'm going to give it to Maeve over here. Maeve, you have something more important. You, he gets the stupid one. You're going to get a good one, Maeve. All right, uh, River, sorry. Remove the wood count from the fire pit. Okay, so wood. Also, I feel like I'm not juggling things. <laughs> we're supposed to be juggling. Increase the day count by one. Bloop. So we will be fine. We do have wood to put on the fire. 
Uh, refresh up to the max stamina, which is going to be minus two. I already did that. Trade items as desired. We gave Mabe the club. And then we're going to pass this to the left because, well, obviously Terra is now dead. Zebo, Mabe, and River must venture onward. So Zebo is hurting. Zebo cannot equip any items, but he does heal one HP every time he draws a berry card. Oh, but here's the thing. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're actually going to play it super safe because we really don't want anybody else dying. The first thing he's going to do is he's going to eat, which is a free action. Three berries. I don't want to use these three berries. No, he can cook first. We have fire. What am I doing? So he's going to cook one, two, three of these. One, two, three. And then he's going to eat these two to get himself two HP. Yep, two HP. Boom. One, two, and eating is a free action. So then he's still got two left. He really, he can't, oh, I don't have enough actions to investigate the fire. So we're going to send him out gathering again, hopefully to get wood, hopefully not to get mauled by a boar, which he did. <laughs> Zebo cannot equip any items. Items, yeah. So he, he's just not a good fighter. Okay. All right, gathering, not successful. Zebo's turn, not a failure, though. Not a failure. We got some cooked meat, which everybody's going to be enjoying. So now we can, River can only eat berries. Berries, I'm assuming that also means cooked berries. I don't think she's that picky. So, boom, she's going to take those two and heal up two. Takes her free investigate fire action, because, yeah. All right, one. Oh, we have, which means we have three right now. Which means, oh, we're not quite where we need to be to crafting, but we are close. So I think we should actually take her next action, because uh, she does have three, and use it as an investigate fire action, which is the, the expensive one. Nothing! Ah, you river, you're my bad side now. Not quite. All right, uh, but she is going to put this wood on the fire, because that is a free action. So she, she knew that she had messed up, and she went and put wood on the fire. <laughs> All right, Mabe. Mabe falls below 3 HP, roll the fire die, booyah, and he got 1, which means take 1 FKP, very nice, which means, oh yeah, crafting is on the table, boom, 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 uh, because, yep, there was the only one prerequisite going to it, which we have unlocked, and also, you notice, to get in order to get the fire starter, we are going to have to go, we're going we're gonna to have to go all the way, because in order to make spices, we have to go to one. So we are going to have to go this way eventually, but uh, we don't have to go to cooking too. I like how that's like, you don't have to go there, but you can go there. All right, so that is unlocked crafting one, which means now we can start potentially making some stuff. So let's take a look. Hopefully there's something good here. Pickaxe. Sharp stick. What do we have? We have fiber. We have a lot of fiber. Anything costs three fiber? Ooh. Take... No, I don't want rocks. Ignore all damage when a danger card? Once per day? Yes. Oh, we need hide. Okay. Okay. I feel like we need to do damage. Yeah, we need to do damage. So let's go with a rock knife. We have two rocks. One of this. You already have a club. God. God. You're... I hate you, babe. All right. Maybe we can make it next time. So... But he could make an item, right? Do we have we have tools? He could make a tool. Berries. Uh, he's got a bag. If at least one to do, do, do. So we're gonna do this. We're gonna do. Hmm. Alright, the tool. So it's nope. I'm not gonna do anything. I'm just going to keep. I'm gonna make him eat berries. That's what I'm gonna do, obviously. So uh, the two cooked berries. I'm pretty sure I already discarded them. So he's gonna heal two. Oh, no, I didn't discard him. I discarded him for her. Oh, man. This is rough. This is a, Okay. Seeing the challenge here. Liking it. So I send him out. There's a good chance he's going to die. But he's got a club. He does have minus one max stamina. So that goes down to five. Which actually means this should be a three. Okay. So I don't want to send him out there. He can't... You can't even investigate the fire, maybe. All right. He's got to go forage because we can't eat the berries that we have. So forage, don't die. Don't you die on me, man. All right, he got one berry. Very nice. Not enough to eat, though. He's got one stamina. He could cook food. Yes, so he will cook food. Okay, very nice. And that's his one. So now we go over here to Tara. Tara has four actions left. She is going to get herself 
a weapon, and Tara gets the rock knife. Booyah. Yeah. So this is going to cost her three. So she's down to one, but it's got one and two, and bada boom, just like that. She's, we've got our first weapon in the game, so we can go hunting now. Took us a while. Uh, so we have one action left. Take one berry when drawing a forage card. Spend two stamina to heat it. Nope, can't do that. Anything. So she'll cook a food. Yeah, she'll cook a food. And he will eat the food, actually. So boop, boop, because he can still do that during his turn. And now we got Jazebo, who is the first player. And we have... Whoo, it's not... <gasps> Tara doesn't get a turn. Tara's dead. Oh, shoot. What am I doing? <laughs> okay. So... Really need to put something over her dead face so I don't forget. So these two berries do not exist. This rock knife does not exist. But we do have the the one and the two. I know someone was probably about to leave that comment like, dude, you totally changed it. I was like, oh, shoot. So he does not have the extra health. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. This is bad. Wait, he did have one berry, right? He had one berry and he cooked one berry, I thought. Yeah, I think he did. Tara's a oh man, this I can see how this is balanced for four players. Uh, this is gonna be really hard. <laughs> okay, so nighttime phase. Let's see what's gonna happen. So please, maybe it's something good. There is something wrong with the food you ate today, and as a result, everyone has food poisoning. I don't think that's a good thing. Characters cannot gain any extra stamina beyond starting values from any source tomorrow. Beyond starting characters not gain any extra stamina beyond starting values from any source tomorrow. What does that mean? Characters cannot gain any extra stamina beyond starting values from any resource. I believe that means that the five stamina that you get, you cannot have any more than that. But they weirded it. They worded it. An extra, I feel like they worded that more confusingly than they had to. Characters cannot gain any extra stamina tomorrow. I feel like that's what they're trying to say. But anywho, they're not, not gaining stamina. Whew, this is rough. All right, so, morning phase. Remove the wood count from the fire. All right, fire's looking all right. It's burning. It's a plus. <laughs> Increase the day count by one. That's bad. Everybody takes one damage. Ow, ow. Oh, no, he's dead. Oh, God. Oh, God. This is, this is bad. This is so bad. <sighs> but somebody picked up his club at least. So River, River, it is all on you and Zebo. Oh my gosh! <laughs> can I? I can go hunting. I can go hunting. Let's see what else we need to do. Refresh up to my max stamina. Okay, nothing wrong with my max stamina. That's oh, you're dead. I'm sorry. Max stamina seven. Yes, Zebo. Wait, Zebo's no, Zebo's not dead. He's just really hurt. And River, you have five stamina. She's okay. You don't have much stamina because you all you eat is berries, River. Okay, okay. And now it is just River and Zebo. We gotta get food. We gotta get food. But River's only got the club. She could make something. She could make the rock knife. But if she makes the rock knife, it's gonna take all of her energy. But then Zebo could cook the meat if we get the meat, which could bring somebody back, right? Do you need three meat to bring somebody back? But we gotta get fire! Oh my gosh! I'm loving the choices that I have to make right now. <laughs> oh, regretting everything. I should have went with the warmth. Hmm. Okay. Or maybe I should. Maybe, maybe I should have just not gotten so much stinking fiber. Okay. I can trade in. So this is an important one. This is an important one. This is this is where we need to like take a pause. I can get cooked meat, right? Because you can trade in three resources of any one kind. Trade with neighboring tribe. Exchange three of any resource for one of any other resource. That looks like anything. So we can we have a neighboring tribe who knows how to cook meat, which means that if we can get a little bit more, we could potentially get the three meat we need to bring somebody back, but they won't come back to the beginning of the next round. But still, we got to do it. So River, first thing you got to do investigate that fire give me three river oh my gosh you you are a glowing ember and otherwise sea of garbage three we could get cooking two i don't know if that's really the play but let's check it out maybe something super powerful is going to happen in here oh cooking two though that lets me cook meat okay i don't have meat so that's not really what we need right now we need the max stamina but that's not going to impact anything 
eating food grants one HP. But I got oh, okay. So um, she's very low health. Got one cooked berry. She could make something. She could make a tool, but I want her to go. She's got to go hunting, right? This is, this is it. She's got to go hunting. All right, river goes hunting. Two stamina. Forage and gather. No, no, this is three. This is the big one. Oh, this is the big one. One, two, three. So five, no, no, two. Hunt. Okay, she got the beast. This is good. Now let's make sure we do this correctly. I'm glad you get to see an example of this. I'm pretty sure I am going to take one damage because I don't have much range on my club. Oh, she should be down to here, which means she's actually down to one. Because, you, oh, no, what am I doing? I'm missing the wrong person. Yes. Because the club is minus one max stamina, so it should have went back down. So as the club moves, you obviously lose that max stamina. So you do have to keep track of that little bookkeeping, which might be a little bit more difficult uh, playing a solo game. But if you if you play solo games, I think you're used to that. So what are we on to? What was even the question I was going to ask? Oh, the damage. I'm pretty sure that I'm going to take the one damage because my range is not long enough. If I had a spear that had a, da a range of two... Yeah, here we go. So, oh, no, it's the rules for crafting... Danger cards. And I do like how the rule book looks laid out. It's very helpful. If you have no weapon, if you have a weapon with one range, which my club does have a weapon of one range, uh, you take one damage and meat equivalent to, to the card's life. All right, so I get one meat. We got ourselves a meat, guys. Raw meat. Wait, is it meat? No, it's just regular meat. All right, so it's not cooked meat yet. These ones are double-sided. Hmm, I wonder if that's a misprint on the uh, game craft thing. Or maybe it's not supposed to be like that. I don't know. So, she only has one. Oh man, that is rough. She did take the damage. So she's gonna live through the night, which is good. She can cook. She can't cook meat, because I can't make cooked meat. She needs wood. We don't have wood. She doesn't have the energy to get wood. Zebo has to get the wood. And if Zebo doesn't get the wood, then we're dead and we lose. Oh, but I can trade things. I'm going to trade with a neighboring tribe. I feel like that is now the thing to do. So we're going to trade in these three. And we're going to trade that in for cooked berries, I guess. I don't, I don't know. I feel like that's kind of cheating. But here's the thing. If you didn't have cooked meat, then there'd be no way for you to get it. So I'm assuming this is a workaround. It does specifically say any. So we're going to turn this in for cooked berries. And then she is then going to use that to eat. Actually, no, Zebo needs it more. So no, Zebo can gain... 1 HP every time he draws a berry card, but I don't want Zebo foraging. Zebo needs to go. What does Zebo need to do? Zebo needs to investigate fire so we can get more stamina, but we need meat. We need meat. Um, but we get the FPAP. Oh. So Zebo is going to, first thing is going to eat berries. We go up two. Bam. Berries gone. No action or no uh, stamina used. He was one every time he draws a berry card. Should he go foraging? I feel like he should go foraging because she's going to need berries, right? So here's two. That's a saber tooth. Yikes. That's painful. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. This is how we die. This is how we die. Forge again. Nothing. Zebo, you... Oh, I hate you, Zebo. Well, at least... Zebo's going to investigate fire. No, Zebo has to get wood. I have to get wood. Zebo, you got to go gather. What am I doing, Zebo? I should have sent you to gather. Oh, uh, you found another saber tooth, Zebo. God damn it. Oh, Zebo's dead. So now it's just River and you and me and the aforementioned cup of tea. Learning that uh, don't let it die. There was a point. About 15 minutes ago, you might have heard me say, man, I feel like we're doing really good. Look at all these resources I have accumulated. That is a false sense of security, my friends. Uh, that went away real fast. We'll play this out, but I'm pretty sure, yes, I'm not going to be able to keep the fire started. But let's look at the night event, see what happens anyway. Everyone stayed awake late last night teaching each other what they had learned about the fire. Each character gets one FKP token. Cool. That would be one because everyone else is dead. River's just talking to herself because she's in a state of psychosis. And she knows that death is oncoming because the fire has extinguished their saber tooths everywhere. She has no food and she's still a picky even. So even though there's some delicious meat right there, she won't eat it. 
but she's still the MVP of this game. But there you go. That is my first playthrough of Don't Let It Die. I do have a feeling that my son Sean and I are going to be doing a Bauer Family Learns of this one very, very soon. If you want to see how it works with a seven-year-old, be sure to click on that subscribe button down below, and hopefully I'll add it to a card up there. So if you're enjoying what I'm doing, please be sure to click on that subscribe. Also, consider supporting the Patreon down below, or if you, you don't want to do that, Click on the Amazon associate link down below. It's really cool. You buy anything on Amazon and it throws a couple of pennies my way as long as you click on the link and then type in like, you know, like a garbage disposal tube or something and I'll get like a penny from that. It's kind of weird. And it shows me that someone from my YouTube channel bought a garbage disposal tube. It doesn't tell me who did it, but it just tells me. Sometimes I'll get some wacky stuff on there, which I love. That's because that, 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 that really does help out. But there you go. Don't let it die. And as always, thanks for your time, YouTube.